Good morning, lovelies. Zoe Two Dots here with some more Pokemon Go goodness for you. And today, uh, the Hoenn portion of the what are we going to call this throwback event has started. So we've got one spawn in the house to kick us off. <laughs> oh my god, Pikachu with the drop the ball with the Rayquaza hat. That I think is the dopiest looking out of all the ones we've seen so far. Good lord. I think at least with the others, it was kind of like their whole head or like Umbreon, it wasn't really split at the mouth. This is like literally the hat is split, like it's the top half of Rayquaza's head has been split off, kind of stapled to Pikachu. So it looks a little bit, uh, a little bit not quite right. I don't know. It looks pretty funny. Boom, added. Still a quick little recap of what we had for the last event and then we'll do, yeah, bad IVs, cool. We'll do a quick look through as well what the quests are going to be for this uh, one going to Hoenn. So, uh, Skitty, I've seen one spawn so far in the house, but that is our new shiny. Bit of a recap. Uh, from all the shinies, it was quite a lucky couple of weeks these last few weeks. So, Chikorita and Skarmory we got during the Eurovision morning live streams over on Twitch. Be sure to go follow over on Twitch as well. Uh, we're doing like Animal Crossing stuff over there. We're doing some PvP stuff over there. Link will be in the description and on screen as well for you guys. Uh, do check out as well Alan, my partner. Uh, he's been doing weekly music stuff on Twitch too. And tomorrow we'll be streaming, or from this video being up, should be within you know, like 12 hours-ish of this video going up. I'll probably be streaming with him for his like Saturday sesh. It's usually a Sunday sesh, but uh, you know, Saturday music sesh, I'll be chucking an incense, battling some of you guys and all that jazz. And he's gonna be playing some tunes to Shiny Hunt too. Uh, the Snubble research event, holy dooly? Like, seriously. Three Shiny Snubble, two of them were Hundos. Shundo Snubbles, two of them. I don't know what was in the water this week, but good lord. A whole bunch of spice from the Safari Zone, so all of these Safari Zone from home spawns. Another Shundo. Thank you guys saw that one live or what in the video recap, which was craziness. I'm so happy with this one. I maxed it out. The Shundo Lickitung. I will not be evolving it. Lickitung is one of my favorites, full stop, all time. I'll evolve like my Lucky Lickitung or something to the Licky Licky. Uh, it's not going to be the Hundo, full stop. I love Lickitung more. We evolved the Ninetales, evolved a few things. We got the Venomoth, my boy, my favorite shiny. Uh, and then the Chansey, the two Geodudes, the Charachu we're all kind of like, and the Squirtle, we're all like weak ones. So Kanto is up to Moth. Uh, Safari Zone is Zangoose onwards until the Snubble, the Snubble was Snubble. Uh, and then Eurovision, Skarmory and the Chikorita were from the Johto. So Kanto, Johto, uh, two shinies each, three or well, three shinies first week, two shinies second week. Uh, and then this week, so I didn't get the, didn't get the Dunsparce, but that's, you know, is what it is. That's fine. I'm sure I'll get one eventually. It's one of my faves in terms of like my favorite shinies are the ones that go pink to blue, blue to pink, purple to blue, pink to purple, that sort of color palette. Uh, I don't know what this first part of the quest was. You'll find out really, really soon, but I'm going to claim that. Five rare candy. Catch a rock type Pokemon and catch three grass, water or flying type Pokemon. That shouldn't be too hard either. I'll just go post up somewhere that's got a few decent spawns and we'll start chipping through this research. To update you guys as well on the Pokecoin situation, I've already completed my free component of the Pokecoins today. Uh, this is the first day that I haven't really woken up to or hit midday with already having the 50 coins from gyms. So all of the days so far until now, I've had the full 55 coins with little effort, like zero, zero effort. Um, so again, I think I'm probably going to be in the demographic that doesn't suffer the most from this coin update. So please, 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 any Aussies that are in, you know, watching my videos, have your voice heard. If you're living in the middle of the city and this new coin change is the worst, please pay that um, feedback forward. But at this stage, again, I'm going to go out today because this is kind of like the first day that I haven't, as I said, woken up to just having the 50 coins being kicked out overnight. So uh, these were all put in, as you can see, six days ago, three days ago. So there's maybe one might get kicked out today, but I don't want to kind of risk it. Today we'll go drop ourselves in gyms and then we'll recap at the end of the day and see how we go. But I'm, I'm to try and keep it like within reason and within experimenting, I might only put myself into like two or three high traffic gyms and see if that's enough because then I'm curious to see if we'll stay in for long enough to even get the coins. Who knows, this could be the first time we don't get the 50. Regardless, if this coin change had ever happened or not, uh, I wouldn't have gotten the 50 coins anyway if I didn't get kicked out of a gym today. If none of these got kicked out, I might not have gone out and put myself in a gym. So either way, I would, I would need to get kicked out of two with this new update. But if I didn't get kicked out of any of these at all today, pre-update, I still would have no coins. At least I've got five. So I guess I'm up on five. 
Uh, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see kind of where we end up. What are our bonuses for this? Uh, special research. So let's go find what research has the best things in it. Let's go see what's got skitty in it, I guess. Uh, half distance to earn buddy candy. Oh, cool. That's, uh, oh, I should walk with something. Walk with something that I need candies for. Okay, and I think it's, it's half egg. It doesn't say it here, but I'm pretty sure it's half egg distance as well in like the worst week for eggs, personally. It's, it's the week that has the most shiny potential in eggs, but... I thought that there was... I thought that there was... Oh, 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 because there's already... Okay. There's already half egg hatch distance because of the overall stay-at-home measures. Okay, well, I'm going to incubate both of those because I don't want them out of sync. Okay, either way, let's just go start getting chipped through this uh, research. Let's get stepping. Okay, first two quests I've got here. Earn a heart with your buddy and... Uh, catch three normies. So earn a heart we can do pretty quickly. Give you a pat. I'm sure that'll... Wait, do I only get one for- wait, sorry, no, photo. I haven't photoed today. So that's two of those. I'm probably gonna start stacking- oh, Marsh Dump, okay. Uh, so we're not doing that one. <laughs> I won't be keeping that one. I mean, it's not bad if you want to stack up for like Stardust bonuses and things like that, because it's a second stage, so if we get it, it's an easy one. Uh, but ideally, I want to try and find if there's a three stage or shiny checks. Th catch three normies. I might hesitate and say that that could be the uh, Skitty quest. Where are the spawns at? We scoot up, we've got plenty more of these to spin, so let's go spin those. First little bit done, go plus on. I've seen a couple of Laleep and uh, uh, Anareth already on the nearby, so there's gonna be a few of those dudes popping around by the looks of it. Uh, so if you don't have that shiny, keep your peepers out. Let's start. Nose pass, okay. I'm gonna stack you up, catch you in a little bit. Uh, powerful Pokemon, three nice throws, catch a fighting type. That should be pretty easy. I might be able to use the uh, the nose pass in there for that. One more normal type I need to do. Battle a trainer. I might do a PvP battle. Catch an electric type Pokemon. Okay. Accidentally clicked that. Uh, make three nice throws is Laron there as part of the Hoenn throwback research. Uh, and then the battle another trainer is... Combuskin. Oh, okay. Not bad. Cool. Again, we'll stack that bad boy up. Another one that I'm probably going to skip on personally. Uh, catch an electric type. Hmm. Do I want to wait to... I mean, there's, I mean, there's Pikachu around, I guess. Go Plus is on. Uh, and I'll claim that once we get the fighting type Pokemon. Okay. Three normal types are down and three normal types are... Skitty. Yes. I'll stack that up in case we get more of the normal type quests, which is probably going to be the ones I will go for. And then there we go, we must have plussed a fighting type, so happy, happy days. Okay, Pineapps, yoink, Stardust, yoink. Pokemon appears to be... Oh, Hariyama, hello. Large and in charge. Stack that one up. I keep getting this bug where like the, the quests pop up down the bottom when they're not happening. It's like popping up later. Send a gift, three curveballs, catch an electric. Look, that, that electric type is the one that... I need to do quite here. So, uh, Pikachu, where you at? Where are these Raychus, Pikaquazas at? Next quest was evolve a Pokemon just for the field research. If we're lucky... Oh, Snowrun. Okay. That's not too bad, actually. Still with the electrics. What's in here? Oh, three curveball throws, Whalma. So, uh, bless the Sylph Road. I thought this would not be up yet because the event's only been live, like, over here for a couple of hours. Uh, but shout out to, obviously, the New Zealand trainers and the Sylph researchers and that because the event task's are already up on the Sylph Road. So, trade a Pokemon, Rolts, uh, battle for Combuskin, evolve for Snowrunt, catch three normies for Skitty, as we know. Two gifts to friends for Trico, catch an electric type for, was that Swallow? Uh, the mid evolution after Taylo, I think. Uh, give your buddy a treat. Crawf crawfish. Crawfish. Heart with your buddy was the Swampert and play with your buddy for the low tad. So I think I'm going to delete those. The electric type quest is pretty good in terms of Stardust wise, but considering I've driven all the way into town and the Go Plus is... Oh, I'm sorry. There's one electric type. There's... Are you serious? Well, I'm just going to delete that, uh, that quest then because I don't want to do those. I'm just going to try and keep the normal type quests, I think is the only one that I particularly need. Uh, of the other listed Pokemon there, I have the shinies, I think, except for Skitty. Yeah, so Skitty's going to be the goal. I do still need to get an electric type for my uh, my overall research. And, oh, Carvana Una Yena. Uh, the Carvana Day, the water and dark type event, is going to be happening on Sunday. I probably, oh gosh, 
possibly may or may not be live in the afternoon for that. We'll just have to kind of see how the schedule shakes out. But it's going from uh, like 11 a.m. until 5 p.m. your local time on Sunday. So we'll see if I end up playing that one. I do not have Carvana Shiny, so I'm definitely going to be at least playing the event. Uh, but we're going to be away from home for a little bit over the weekend. So it just depends what time we get home in the morning. Magic, let's try and finish a little bit more of this Hoenn task. Do a couple more uh, skitty checks and see where we end up. Okie dokie, we finally plussed a Pikachu. And banana. -na. What are we going to get? Berries, berries. But oh, Minetric. Hello. Again, not bad. Bit of Stardust, Evolved form. Nice. Hope some of you guys, uh, maybe returning players, are getting some new catches out of this. Some new evolutions that you might not have had before. Uh, earn a candy, walking with your buddy, Pokemon with a weather boost, and fire Pokemon. We'll probably continue that. Uh, like, we'll do this today sort of thing, but I'll probably start ticking them off in the next video or over the weekend. We'll see what we start getting out of that as well. And then I've got another normie type here. Three, two, one. Eh, skitty, skitty kitty, no, stack it up for when we get more of those quests. Honestly, let's, let's see what the Go Plus is doing. I've just chucked myself in two gyms, I think, so far, so I don't want to jump into too many. Um, just for the sake of, you know, testing the whole coins situation. Sorry, three, okay, I've jumped into three today, I'm going to leave it at that and see how we go. So 30 minutes, 30 minutes, and a minute. <laughs> Pikachu's in this one. So far on the Go Plus, lots of Taylor, which can be shiny if you guys don't have it. Mudkip, quite a few there. Uh, Skitty can be shiny. Anorith, Roselia can be shiny. Aron can be. Rhyhorn can be. Metatite can be as well. Zangoose, Pikachu. Uh, Torchic, most of the... Carvana. And the Wurmple, that... Ooh, <laughs> if we get that one as a shiny, that'd be nice. I don't have that purple worm. Won't have the party hat, but that's A-OK. -okay. That's was supposed to be a lucky trade that would have been done at the UK Safari, but is what it is but uh pretty much everything that's being picked up on the plus is something that can be shiny which is really really good only exceptions would be the numble the gulpin that's kind of it and like the sphere there and the shroomish so honestly majority on the plus at the very least or majority that we've been seeing shiny potential so fingers crossed sending out some shiny vibes for your hunts over the week weekend oh there we go the go plus just picked up a fire type boom that bit's done <laughs> Keep in mind as well, there are new uh, eggs popping out of these seven kilometer eggs. So they are like Hoenn themed. I will be hatching none of them personally because I have all of those at least. Uh, so I've got the shiny families for everything that's hatching. I don't want to hatch Lotad, I don't want to hatch Rolts and things like that. So I won't be doing the 7Ks. If you want that kind of 7K action, this will not be the channel for you for the next seven days. But we'll be doing plenty of, you know, 2Ks, 5Ks, things like that. And then next week's, when like the seven days from now, the, the uh, Sinnoh, I'll absolutely be hatching a bunch of eggs because Riolu is going to be back in the 7Ks. Again, just got to... Got to give it a red hot go sort of vibe uh, and, you know, get out and do some walks. I haven't been very active the last two weeks. I've just been kind of like very exhausted. Even today, I'm feeling very, very tired. So I'm going to go home and lay down. <laughs> but uh, I need to get out and start doing some more walks and things like that. Social distance, exercise, etc. So leave a comment down below, guys. What are you looking forward to in the Hoenn week? Is there something in particular that you're super duper looking forward to? Uh, for me, seeing the amount of Wurmple that's spawning, I'm, I'm honestly kind of interested. <laughs> in getting the little purple worm. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Carvana event that's happening on Sunday as well. That's going to be interesting. I hope that it's as good as the, uh, I guess, in terms of shiny rate, as good as the Centret, because I think I got two or three Centret, which is nice. It's very lucky as well. Uh, but hopefully the Carvana is such a nice shiny. I don't have it at all, so that'd be great. But otherwise, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of just, you know, I wouldn't mind the Skitty and I wouldn't mind the Wurmple going for a bit of a hunt. I'm going to do the rest of my placements as well for uh, PvP for Go Battle League. So I'll be filming some of that with you guys as well, giving you guys some beginners teams if you need it or some, um, some a couple of team combos that are fairly easy to get started with the Go Battle League with for sure. If you guys have any other requests, as always, chuck them in the comments. I read all the comments. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. If you are new, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you to everyone who did leave a like as well. And if you'd like additional ways to support the channel, links for Patreon and the merch. Ha! Good egg vibes are <laughs> in the description down below. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful morning, noon, night. Whatever time it is for you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.